Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhya. Welcome to the Limitless Brain Lab channel. Thank you to all the people who have been supporting us through like, share, subscribe. Very soon, we are coming up with a membership as well. Go ahead and grab your membership for the premium content. We will continue this topics and dialogues also monthly where I can see you in person on the YouTube as well, at the YouTube live. So today's topic uh, is about attention. How many of you feel that you have attention deficit hyperactivity disease? I want you to put your comment. I want you to put your comment in the comment box. A lot of people have been asking us to talk about attention. Attention is the currency of the current times. We have been slowly letting go of this currency. Look at the videos which were watched over hours. It's shrinking to minutes. It's shrinking to shots. It's shrinking to reels. The attention is dwindling by the day every single minute in fact the attention is eroding if you want to keep your attention keep watching until the end because i would like to give you some tips and tricks to improve your attention and focus and also make you understand what really is happening with adhd people say that adhd has increased significantly yes the u.s reports it around 12 to 15 percent and it can be equally present in the adults it's quite heavily present in the children as well now why is adhd increasing look at the total number of the distractions that we have i have all the tabs open on my computer i have so much of sensory stimulation i have multiple notifications which come on my phone with this amount of distraction our brain has never been prepared to all at once work on it in fact our great 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 old ancestors used to take only 2500 decisions every single day and you will be surprised to know the total number of the decisions that you and me take at this point in time 30 to 50 thousand decisions every single day what to answer when to answer what to not say what to say notifications the social impact the social media the screen scrolling the doom scrolling what is happening constantly constantly our brain has been firing there is sensory overload the brain is continuously visualizing continuously having the hearing inputs the constant constant work of the brain is making it deficient in attention adhd is a spectrum it is a wide variety of problems in fact the latest dsm manual also describes seven different types of the attention deficit there is a limbic variant there is a ring of fire variant there is inattentive there is hyperactive variant essentially the moral for each of it is you cannot focus for a long period you cannot complete your task you often procrastinate you try to do a lot of things all at once and nothing happens right you want to complete a task but the motivation is lacking your learning is a problem memory can get into a problem because for memory the first thing is you have to attend so when you are struggling with the focus when you are struggling with memory also impulsivity you cannot hold yourself you want to quickly answer you want to quickly jump the queue all these are indicators of attention deficit hyperactivity disease if you want to figure out are you suffering from one of these we have put up a free version of evaluation for self. It's always best if we are able to give it to our friends as well, because there will be also better judges of our personalities. Now, the question is, what can we do about it? How to improve the focus? How to improve the attention? The very first thing that I am going to talk about in this is understanding that in this current era and time where we are bombarded with sensations, prioritizing your purpose is the key always sticking to that purpose all the prioritized task for that purpose is the number one thing but let me tell you three important things which you can do because that is how the brain's wiring happens the very first thing is clarity of that purpose what do i want out of life what do i want out of project what do i want to achieve very clearly and crystally you need to write you need to use the peak focus of 25 to 28 minutes, which one person can attend. That is what Pomodoro technique also states. You put in a timer, 25 minutes, and then take a break because that break will reboot your system and you can refocus and re-attend. In fact, this, the third important task is that you can also, before you are trying to attend to anything, be removing all the distractions. 
If your computer has multiple tabs, please shut it down. If your phone has notifications, shut it down. Because the moment you're off focus, it takes another 20 to 30 minutes to bring you onto the focus. All of you have seen this. Suddenly, there's a notification on the email. You lost the track of what you were doing. Getting back to that can become a big problem. Doing Brahmri, I have been a big proponent of a very simple pranayama called Brahmri. It is also called humming bee. In fact, I am a faculty at American Academy of Yoga Medicine where we also train the master student to understand the power of this pranayama. It's a very significant power that this pranayama holds called the humming bee. When you are doing multiple three to four quality humming bee every single day, your gamma, the super brain wave improves, your attention and focus improves, and you also feel relaxed at the same time. So people suffering from ADHD must have, must practice is this humming bee practice, three to four cycles every single day. What else should you do to avoid this attentional excitation trap that we are in everybody is seeking attention the purpose clarity is of paramount importance what you should also do is being aware of the task every single time pick up a task and give it your timeline become aware that this is the task that you need to complete make a to-do list complete that task and then move on to the next task None of us, none of us can multitask. It is always about task shifting or attentional shifting that you and me can do. So if you are one of those people who is wondering that I have superpowers and I can attend to a phone also, I can drive also, well, this is not how the brain functions. You are actually exhausting your sensory processes. You are just basically hampering those processes and it's not good in the long run. So avoiding the distractions, being focused to a purposeful task, being mindful of the task, completing the task, moving on to a task after 25 minutes, making sure that you give yourself a reward because you completed the task is extremely important. If you have not watched our previous videos, go ahead and watch the movers because movers, if you practice five minutes each of the elements of the movers and when you come to oxygenation, particularly the humming bee and make your children also practice that believe me attention is not going to be a problem attention so-called the demand of the day is not that difficult in the brain as we were wired we were wired to be attentive go ahead and watch a game which is your favorite interests where you know a child also is playing a video game and where there's an interest and motivation you will see zilch attention issues there won't be any attention issues because we were wired to attend with interest with motivation we were wired to have that but if you do suffer from adhd do not shy away from it adhd also brings in its own uh, pitfalls your task does not get completed profession can hurt etc in that case go ahead and scan yourself understand how much is the problem quantitative eeg and theta beta ratios are usfd approved standards we use it in our lab we also use neurofeedback and neuromodulation to treat people with attention deficit do not shy away if you have to use a stimulant there are many natural stimulants also available in the market go ahead and seek help because you want to do the best in your life and we help you get that as well so signing off dr shweta aratya please be with us write to us and this is at the limitless brain lab do you want to manifest a dream life a dream car amazing relationship do you want to manifest your profession where you are at the top well people say manifestation is manipulation manifestation is not possible believe me from the point of view of neuroscience it is just reframing the mindset from the poverty mindset to the abundance mindset there are steps to it there is a way in which you can do that and this particular neuroscience manifestation course is one of the popular courses which we are doing right now. And I will bring you some fascinating facts. And if you do practice consistently over a period of time, I guarantee manifestation is not just possible. It is very easily doable. So join me on this course of the Neuro Manifestation module where I meet all of you. And together we live a beautiful, amazing, happy and abundant life.